1958, A.W. Phillips published a paper on inflation and unemployment. Phillips saw a negative relationship between the unemployment rate and inflation. Using data from the 1960s, I have plotted the Phillips curve seen here. Phillips observed that when unemployment was high, inflation was low. When inflation was high, unemployment was low. This negative relationship is known as the Phillips curve. Policymakers saw this relationship as a menu of inflation choices. Policymakers thought that they could choose to have low unemployment at the expense of a little bit of inflation. Let's begin with the economy in the long run at the natural rate of unemployment at, say, 6% shown as point one. If policymakers use both fiscal and monetary policy to reduce the unemployment rate to 4%, resources become scarce and prices will rise to point two. Workers will demand higher wages and the short run Phillips curve will shift to the right from point two to point three. If policymakers continue to use fiscal and monetary policy to keep the unemployment rate below its natural rate, then inflation will continue and a wage price spiral will follow as shown as a movement from point three to point four. The Phillips curve is an empirical relationship that is observed from data. Policymakers have learned that they cannot exploit the relationship by choosing a point on the curve. The Phillips curve is often used in introductory textbooks to explain short-term fluctuations in prices and unemployment. 